Open Table is a movement that has been spreading across the country since 2005 that specializes in bringing groups of 8 to 12 volunteers together for a year to serve, encourage, and advocate for one impoverished person or family at a time so that they can restore themselves to a place of sustainability and wholeness within their community. In this model, each of these groups of volunteers is called a table, and each person or family being served by a table is called a sister or brother. By committing to this process, each sister or brother benefits from the table members' life experiences, community and social networks, and knowledge. They also gain an entire support system which is vital for their success. In regards to logistics, Open Table as an organization provides the initial training and ongoing support for every table that is formed. To date, there are several different table models that can be used depending on the needs of the sister or brother. There are models to help those who are homeless, working poor, youth aging out of foster care, people returning from prison to the community, victims of human trafficking, and more. To help ensure that each candidate for a table is ready to do the hard work that is required to create change in their lives, the Open Table organization has them go through both a psychological assessment and backgrounding process. As soon as a candidate is connected to a table, they begin working together, developing and implementing a customized life plan to empower the sister or brother to live into their God-given potential. As a team, they work together on goals in areas of education and occupation, financial planning, housing, transportation, healthcare, family support, spirituality, and more. In addition, table members network in their congregations and in their local communities for resources to help support the plan that they've developed. In this way, entire congregations and many members in the local community can be involved in this process even if they don't formally serve on the table themselves. This video was created to give you a chance to hear from the members of the first table launched in Michigan and the sister we served, who was a youth aging out of foster care. Our hope is that this will inspire you to start or join an open table in your community. After our last table was done, we had a worship experience here at the congregation. Everyone from the table had a chance to share what the year had meant to them. The best part for me was hearing um, our sister share what the year had meant to her and how much she felt like she had grown personally. It's a little difficult to sum up what all I have gained because it's an outstanding amount of things. I have had a stable house for a year. I have had a stable job for a year. When I didn't have a well-supported emotional group to be able to talk to about my problems, my open table members were more than willing to be there for me. I've known Stephanie for three years and I have to say that her first two years of knowing her versus this last year of knowing her have been such a blessing to be a part of and to see, but the growth I've seen in the last year, I cannot help but believe that is directly a result of being the first sister on an open table. And so I kind of served as a bridge between um, how to help uh, our sister Stephanie and how to navigate the real world versus the DHS world. People are looking forward to this model um, that came to us as a result of your guys' faith in what this could do for kids aging out of foster care. One of the most challenging parts of Open Table was just that whole idea that I hadn't lived in her circumstances. And so I, I'd never been through the things that she'd been through. I think the most challenging things about the open table is, is having the sister in us establish a trust relationship. But I think once that trust level was established, then um, we really started to make good progress. Open table has impacted my faith 
and worldview um, by showing me that there is there is hope. This was never about me, and this was never about what I wanted or what I was going to get out of the table. And I think it ended up working out that I got out more of it than I thought I would by being here for her instead of being here for me. I'd say that the biggest impact Open Tables had on my faith is, is reaffirming how moving and powerful it is to be living out your faith and not just to be saying words or to be repeating ritual, but to actually be doing something with it in a dynamic way. I think going through this experience is how you learn what real life is like for a lot of people. I would encourage others to volunteer on Open Table because I've seen a life change from it. Um, I've had the opportunity to watch Stephanie grow from someone who needed a lot of help to um, someone who's certainly moving in the right direction, who's been able to accomplish some things in her life that perhaps without the assistance of Open Table she wouldn't have been able to do. You learn so much about yourself and about everybody on your table and about your sister or brother themselves um, and, and how to really make a difference in this world. We all strive for that and you don't know where to start, but we can start with one person at a time. We all want to represent Christ in the world. We don't all know how. And the open table gives you a doorway, an opportunity to start exercising your desire to serve others. I would encourage others to be on an open table so that they can truly make a difference in abolishing poverty in their community. Uh, I think it's a one way to really change a life and a family for a long period of time. And it's, it's not a quick fix, it's a, deep, it's a deep change, and that's why it takes the time and commitment that's required of it. Any church that's in existence, particularly a lot of our smaller congregations that have maybe a congregation of less than 20 people, they've got enough people to do an open table. And if they're looking for a service project, I can't think of a better one for them, really.